Hi there. Okay then. This is a bit awkward. Um, if you're familiar with the show, we normally tell you the latest cool things happening in Asia, except this week, well, there isn't any. Um, I, I went hunting down the darkest alleys of cloud computing and hoping to turn over an old VM that would have some gossip or an abandoned data center hiding the answer to what come first, the cloud or the VM, but no, nothing. While we wait for some news, consider subscribing to the channel and giving us a thumbs up. I'm sure that helps, somehow. So we can sit here, stand, or I can rummage through the spare cloud parts bin and see what we can find. Yeah? All right, hang on a second. Right, um, uh, what have we got in here? Oh yeah, here's one. All right. <sighs> ah, right. Azure has got an upgrade. An upgrade that spans the entire cloud platform and puts Azure in a new light. An upgrade that follows the constant evolution of the cloud computing world. It is a new icon. Yep. Azure has a new face, or as Microsoft Marketing puts it, the new Azure icon represents the unity of Azure within the larger Microsoft family of product icons. It's part of Microsoft's fluent design system, carefully crafted to produce icons that look familiar to what customers know and love, while representing the agile future of our business. All that in an icon. Impressive. Yeah. All right, what else is in the box? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's just rude. Uh, oh, this one. All right, all right, there we go. Right, have you heard of ABAC, Attribute-Based Access Control? It's an authorization feature that defines access levels based on attributes associated with security principles, resources, requests, and the environment. This now supports blobs and ADLS Gen 2, so you can grant access to blobs based on resource and request attributes such as a custom attribute you add to a blob. This is really useful to provide granular access to blob data. Conditions are currently not supported for files, queues, and tables though. Eh. If you're into data and have questions concerning the DB200 and DP201 certification exams, then this Friday, the 14th, my colleague and Azure data guru, Brian Rehm, is live on our community Discord server to answer all your questions. Yes, all of them. You can join anytime. In fact, join us on Discord for all things ACG. We have giveaways, study groups, free cake, ooh, ACG training architects to help with questions, cloud challenges, free cake, and so much more. Join us, go. I think I can find one more piece of average news. Hmm, ah, a few new updates for Azure DevOps. Not very interesting. Uh, oh, this maybe, yes. The IoT Central API service is now generally available. With this, you can create, onboard, and manage IoT devices into Azure IoT Central. And you can also manage users and manage API tokens through the API, which is handy if you've built your own management system around Azure IoT Central. Also relating to IoT Central, it now supports components for IoT Edge modules with the digital twin definition. And this makes it much easier to deploy devices on a large scale with your own custom features on it. And IoT Central now emits device connectivity events because it can be very useful to know if certain devices aren't sending any data. A whole bunch of IoT Central updates as it turns out. I'll add a link in the description for you to check them out. All right, I have nothing more. Apologies for the light lunch from the buffet of Azure news. I blame Microsoft. Now, before I go, I would love for you to help us out with a short survey. We genuinely want to create content that you like, and we need to know what you like in order to do that. So please tell us, take the survey. It's short, I promise. Link is in the description. As we say on the A Cloud Guru team, when there is just nothing to talk about, for this week's show, but somehow we find a bag of leftovers to read from and then we fill the time. Seek and use your cloud. So see you next week and keep being awesome, cloud gurus.